welcome back. For many years, outstanding athletes and sports figures have brought lasting fame and recognition to Pima County, one of which is sitting right here with me now to talk about this year's inductees. Welcome, President of the Pima County Sports Hall of Fame, Pat Darcy. Pat, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Likewise, Alex. Thank you so much. You know, I, I want to start first with your history, because you actually have a deep history here in Tucson, and then you went on to do some really cool things. Yeah, I grew up here in Tucson. I went to Rincon High School. And then after Rincon High School, I got a scholarship to Mesa Community College. Back then, there were only six JCs in the state. Now, there are probably six in Maricopa alone. So I played there one year and then got picked up by Houston Astros. I came up through their organization, and then I was on the big league roster, and I got traded to Cincinnati a couple of days before spring training in 1974. So I spent at most a little bit of time in Indianapolis, a triple-A team. Then I was with the Reds into 74, 75, and 76, and I got traded in 77. But our teams, we were known as Big Red Machine back yeah. then. And, uh, you know, outstanding players, Hall of Fame players, Pete Rose, Johnny Benz, Tony Perez, Joe Morgan, uh, Ken Griffey, you know, just a team of stars. And it was fun because the, we had a good manager, Sparky Anderson, and, you know, and we had, with all these superstars, it was always, you know, no one's bigger than the team. Right. No one, no one person loses the game. And that, that was kind of drilled into us. And so there were really no egos in the clubhouse. Wow, it's all about the teamwork, and I feel like I'm sitting in the midst of baseball royalty. That's so cool. You know, you lived the dream that many people wish they could have lived, and, and it's very impressive, so congratulations. Yeah. And then, of course, here in Pima County, uh, you were inducted into the Hall of Fame uh, right. for sports. So can you give us kind of the history of the Hall of Fame here? Sure. The Pima County Hall of Fame, Al Sai, who was, who was from New Jersey, a wrestler from New Jersey, came out here to the U of A and, and was a wrestler at the U of A, then was a co wrestling coach at Swirl. And so he wanted to do something, because most, most counties have Hall of Fames. So he, he started this process in 1989. The first class was 1990. We have 364 members in right now, athletes, coaches, officials, and contributors. Wow, and you yourself are, like I said, a part of that yeah. uh, elite few. And this mm -hmm. year, of course, we're doing another banquet, another induction right. ceremony. So hit off some of those people that are being inducted this sure. year. Sure, we have 14 this year, and uh, really good. We have three sets of, of either two brothers, two sisters and brother sister. So we have the Dosty sister, Sybil, who played basketball. Both of them went to South Point. She played basketball at Tennessee, mm -hmm. had Summit, was a coach back then, you know, Hall of Fame coach. And then she transferred the last couple of years at ASU. And then, then uh, Whitney Dosty played volleyball at the U of A. We have Pam Reed, the ultra marathoner, who ran uh, 300 miles without stopping. I could run one mile, I think, without stopping, <laughs> something like that. I can't even do that. <laughs> and the Duncan brothers, Shelly and Chris, Shelley played at the U of A, has a home running record still at the U of A. He played with the Yankees some, and Chris was a number one draft choice out of CDO and uh, played with the Cardinals in the world. These are World Series whatever the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. A few of us around that from Tucson that have World Series rings and all that. And then we have Dick Tomey, of course, who the winning this coach at the University of Arizona. Wildcats, and yeah. then uh, Kelly Sylvia McKee, who was a great volleyball player at Catalina and the, at the U of A and became a coach at, volleyball coach at NAU and uh, New Mexico. And then J the Pyers, Jim Pyers and Paula Pyers are, uh, went to S Santa Rita High School. He, Jim went to play at Grand Canyon. They're both all state. He, went to, he started Grand Canyon four years. Paula was probably one of the best basketball players to come out of Tucson. She played at SC and had two national championships when she was there. And then we got uh, Brian Peabody, who's played for Dick McConnell, one of the greatest coaches in Arizona, basketball coach in Arizona yeah. at Saguaro. Then he coached, he coached at Pima right now. And then he was at Ironwood Ridge and also South Point. And then we have Rodney Pete, of course, the, probably the greatest athlete to come out of Tucson. Yeah. He was All-American, All-State at, at, at Suoro, at football, basketball, baseball, went to a, 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 SC, USC, was an All-American there at football and also played baseball. 17 years in the NFL as a quarterback. Wow. Pretty amazing. It, and it we, is amazing. Yeah, and with Rodney and then Robbie Mullen uh, from Flowing Wells High School was a, uh, a, a great outfielder, played at the UVA, UVA and was an all, all all city and all state at Flowing Wells and all American at the U of A. And then uh, Jane Martindale, who's Rincon, I graduate too. She was an all around athlete at Rincon and played at the U of A and uh, is in the U of A Hall of Fame. And she also coached, she coaches softball at Yale. She coached softball at Yale. Wow, well, clearly a lot of talent. There's a lot of luck to, what's to get through that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what's well, exceptional. Yeah, you know, Ken Kurtz, who played baseball and basketball wow. at the U of A and was a, is an official for the last 30 years. College official. Yeah. It's exceptional how you know so much about these folks, too. You're encyclopedic <laughs> about what you know about them. But there's a banquet coming up. Uh, can, is it open to the public or is it? Yeah, really no, it's open to the public. Okay. It's, it's October 31st, I mean, October the 29th. It's on a Sunday. It starts at, the registration starts at 11 o'clock. The banquet starts at uh, 1215. 
And so we usually get, we don't really advertise, we haven't really advertised at all. And we usually get between 300 and 400 people in this event. Wow. So we're trying to get more, get more people that just don't know the people, the inductees, but uh, you know, wanna, just want to come to the banquet. Definitely. Well, I'm going to tell folks a uh, little more Good, information okay. about that. We could continue talking about sports yeah, forever, yeah. but Pat, such an honor to have you here. Thanks for Likewise, joining us. Likewise. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Now, the Pima County Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony is taking place October 29th at Reed Park Doubletree Hotel with registration starting at 1130. To learn more, please call 244-8907 or visit pcshf.org.